What is the best and most efficient way to travel through Europe? Sleeper trains. In this video, I am going to explain why you should be taking all-night sleeper trains, how much time it will save you, and how much it might cost. I will also provide answers to the most common questions. Traveling through Europe can be expensive and time-consuming. Why not try traveling by sleeper train? It's the most efficient, comfortable, and fun way to get around. There are many different ways to travel through Europe. There are budget airlines, standard trains, charter buses, and even driving a car. However, none of them offer a truly unique experience or provide you with the most efficient way to travel through Europe. Sleeper trains offer a great way to see the best of Europe while on a tight schedule or even a smaller budget. These trains have more than 40 different routes, and some even bring you right into the city center. With comfortable beds and wonderful views of passing landscapes, sleeper trains are the perfect way to travel through Europe. If you like our videos about international travel, please like and subscribe to our channel. This helps the YouTube algorithm push our videos out to other travelers who are seeking this information. Thank you. Traveling throughout Europe takes time and effort. It can be expensive and hard on your body if you don't have the proper accommodations. However, sleeper trains provide travelers with both comfort and efficiency. The night journey will dazzle you with the beauty of passing landscapes without any of those annoying layovers or waiting for another train connection. What's a sleeper train like? A sleeper car train transforms your train into a bed and breakfast or hotel, depending on how much you're prepared to pay. If you reserve an overnight train while in Europe, you'll have the option of upgrading to a couchette or sleeper coach, where you can lie down and sleep in a bed instead of trying to doze off in a seat. Sleepers are not gender-specific, so you'll most likely be sharing your compartment with both men and women, so dress appropriately when getting on the train. If you don't want to sleep in your normal clothes, consider bringing pajamas and changing into them in the train bathroom. There's no need to be concerned about your fellow passengers staring at you while you sleep since your bed will come with a curtain that you may use to separate yourself from them. Random people can't get into your compartment when you're sleeping because the main entrance is also locked. How much does it cost on average? The cost of an overnight train is generally greater than that of a daytime one, especially if you select a sleeper car. If you'd rather try to sleep upright in a seat, expect to pay around the same as for a day train. Many of these trains have free Wi-Fi which is a bonus if you want to stay in contact with friends on social media or get some work done. You may also choose a four-berth compartment, which sleeps two people, or a one-berth compartment, which sleeps one. Single tickets are considerably more expensive than twins, not all night trains even offer singles. If you want your own room on a night train, you'll have to pay for an entire double bed. On certain European trains, you may reserve a couchette instead of a sleeper car. A couchette compartment is comparable to a train's dorm room. There will be four to six bunk beds in the compartment, and they'll be much less expensive than sleeping in a sleeper carriage. On top of the train ticket, sleeping in a couchette compartment will most likely cost at least $30. Believe me, book the couchette and do not sleep upright for 11 hours. You will regret it. I traveled with my buddy John on an all-night train from Amsterdam to Copenhagen. We had a great day in Amsterdam and loved the idea of not having to get a hotel room and just waking up in a new country to start the day. That is the appeal of the overnight train. Efficient travel. It was early April on a random Tuesday. We thought that we didn't need the couchette and that the train probably wouldn't be very full. In all honesty, we just didn't want to spend $20 and thought we would be okay, but we were wrong. The train filled up and we slept upright or tried to sleep for 10 hours. We didn't make that mistake again. Leaving Copenhagen for Geneva, we made sure to book a couchette in advance and enjoy the ride. And yes, we did. To this day, we often talk about the train ride and the interesting people we met along the way. The wine we drank, the German guy with the guitar, and lots of girls surrounding him. It was a fantastic experience. Getting there is half the fun and this train ride proved it. Do I have to make reservations? Yes, you need to make reservations. You can't just walk up and ask for a couchette. 
it's unlikely that you'll be able to secure a seat on an overnight train. The chances of it being a sleeper car are slim, so get to the station as soon as you've arrived in a city and buy your onward ticket there. Trains that arrive overnight are surprisingly popular since they allow you to travel where you want without having to spend money on a night's accommodation. Even if you're grateful for a seat rather than a bed on your journey, make a reservation ahead of time. The best thing is that most of these reservations can be made online. The majority of European train companies have their own apps. Quick tip. Before leaving your home country, download and create an account. This will save you time in the long run. Planning your trip. This is what I would recommend if you wanted to see a lot of Europe and are short on time. Plan your itinerary around the all-night sleeper train. Start out in Paris, enjoy the city, and stay a few nights. But then plan on your next destination, but be flexible. Pick a city that offers an overnight train. You might be able to choose from Barcelona, Berlin, or Venice. But the concept is the same. Enjoy the entire day in Paris, then hop on a train and arrive in Venice at sunrise. Spend time in Venice, enjoy what the city has to offer. Then figure out other all-night train options. The more flexible you are, the more exciting the trip can be. Maybe go to Munich or perhaps the French Riviera. Options are unlimited, so pre-plan if possible. An all-night train journey is one of the most enjoyable modes of transportation. You can leave Paris in the early evening and wake up in Venice at sunrise. They say that getting there is half the fun. So, taking a night train adds a new aspect of travel that maybe you haven't experienced in the past. Happy travels!